I was watching the Oscars last Monday and I felt like I had to cry every 10 minutes. I actually did cry three times. Every time someone got to the stage to thank people who had helped them to achieve their dreams made me super emotional. I know what some of you are going to say. Yeah, they are professional actors, they know how to cry and be convincing. Well, yeah, that's possible, but even if the tears would have been fake, the way people talked about their dreams, it really hit me hard. Jonathan Kik won won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar from his role in Everything Everywhere All at Once. 44 years ago he was in a refugee camp in Hong Kong with the part of his family. Later his whole family was admitted to United States. He thanked his wife, who day after day, month after month, for 20 years had told him that one day his time will come. For some reason, this was the most personal sentence for me in the speech. Abstro video. Ei, kun me poraan nyt näitä reikkiä. This sentence revealed that for 20 years Jonathan had wished and dreamed for something big. Sometimes I hear people say, I could have never even dreamed about this when they are talking about their success or goals. And I guess for some people that really is the case. But I gotta say, for me, the most interesting stories are not the ones where people have made it in their 20s by accident or became successful overnight without dreaming it. That's not very interesting to me. For me, the most inspirational stories are the ones where people talk about their struggles and open up about the hard work they have done to achieve their goals. So I try to eat something every day at school as a snack, especially if I'm going to gym after school straight, so that the time between lunch and dinner wouldn't be so big, because usually, well, you get super cranky, I mean, I, I get super cranky, I get headaches and so on, so I've sort of made this rule for myself that I'm eating something every day. Please keep your dreams alive, he said. Right now I'm working towards my dreams and I can never know if they become true or not. And that really scares me and annoys me, but at least I will try. 
Oh, and watch everything everywhere all at once. It's great. Yesterday I was editing a video and I put this photo to my Instagram. <laughs> I guess people liked it because I have never gotten that many messages and that's good. I like to make people laugh, especially if it's my boyfriend. If I make him laugh, that's like plus 10 points. Okay, so now I'm finally ready to set the stones, the holes are ready, everything is ready, let's see how it goes. I hope I will get them in, because some of the holes were pretty deep, but let's see. I am literally exhausted. I went into this zone at school. I wanted to get the ring ready so badly that I didn't take any breaks. I didn't eat anything. I was like fully focusing on making that ring. But still, it's like, how can you be so tired when you're just setting stones? Like you're barely moving, but still it's like, maybe your brain is working so hard. I don't know, but it's weird. And of course you have to concentrate like 1000%. So anyway, uh, now I'm gonna eat. I made some pizza because we were talking about pizza at school. So I got a craving and pizza is my favorite food, I think. And maybe when I have eaten, I'm probably gonna maybe edit a little bit maybe put some photos and videos to the computer and then maybe I'm going to the gym but I haven't decided yet because I'm super tired but I know that when I go to the gym it gets better and I really like how this video turned out I actually never say this I feel like I finally sort of like captured how it is at school I'm gonna start eating I'm gonna start editing, maybe, and then going to the gym. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Bye.